this is Nigeezy and this happens to be your favorite program Crunch. Crunch on Nigeezy happens to be the hottest lunchtime show ever in the face of Africa and I'm your host yours truly Wafai Samuel. You're watching Crunch on Nigeezy. I love this show. I love Crunch. I love Crunch. Thank you. First and foremost, how does it feel like being on Crunch? Oh well it's good. Uh, um, it's a beautiful program I think. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Now let's get to meet Kelechi Amadi away from the multi award winning program. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm just like any other person out there, you know, just that I love making images. You know, started from drawing, painting, and now photography. And um, it all boils down to storytelling, you know, and um, I like to tell stories. You know, but with imagery. Well, professionally, I would say since 2000, I would say 13 years now, I've been doing this in a more serious way. But uh, on visual, I've been doing that since I was a child. So, okay. Yes. Okay. So it's um, yeah, I'd say roughly 13 years, making a living out of it. Yes. First and foremost, um, photography works hand in hand. You know, with fashion as a means of exposing fashion. As a means of exposing fashion. Yes, photography becomes a very, very important part of that. Um, apart from that, I've I've been shooting fashion for some years now, and one of the major things that attract me to fashion photography is the fact that it's it's got a more flexible environment in terms of art. You can really, really go beyond just selling the clothes. And you can start telling stories. You can start even making comments about politics and culture and things like that, you know, or history. So for me, um, fashion is not something that is, it has to be in a context. It has to be in some kind of cultural context. Every uh, jeans trousers, for instance, came out of, you know, America when they were trying to make tough fabrics for working men. So you see, it's got a history. You know, if you're looking at, uh, you know, Akwete, then it has a historical, you know, and cultural relationship, you know, with the Igbos. If you're looking at uh, Ashoke, it has a historical and cultural connection to the Yoruba. So you find out that fashion in itself goes beyond just wearing clothes. It's a means of expressing your identity, your cultural identity, you know, and um, true photography. It comes alive okay. in telling that story. I just want to know what, what do you envisage? What is that thing that comes out of you and then radiates on the outside, makes you come up with an impeccable photograph of a particular celebrity or model? What is that? There are two things. Sometimes I have this image in my head and I want to bring it out, you know? So um, I, I, and I wouldn't rest until I get that done. So while I'm thinking about this image, Maybe an opportunity presents itself. But sometimes I want to be spontaneous. So I keep my mind blank. And I want to I want to surprise myself. That way I can sort of regenerate myself. I put myself in a situation where I I am forced to create the new okay. because of the circumstances that I find myself in. You understand? Yeah. So um, it's almost like you know, shooting documentary, a documentary where you don't really know what's going to happen. You're waiting for something to happen and then it happens, you know. But somehow, because of your own bias, you have a point of view and then that becomes the you in it, you know. So those are the two things, you know, that sort of happen. I mean, photography itself is a technology-based profession, really. I mean, the camera is somebody found a way to to capture light, you know? So the first thing is for you to understand that technology. Yeah, so understand how the camera works and how you can create with it. So that is the first thing. The second thing is then, what are you now going to do with the, with, with the camera? You know, what story are you going to tell? How do you create visual impact? Then you start understanding design, you know? and visuality, you know, light and dark, color, composition, shapes, texture, you know, and things like that. It will help you. These are still tools. But beyond that, 
The next thing is, what story do you want to tell? So it's now beyond photography. It's you as somebody that has an opinion. You understand? Yeah, that's right. So that goes beyond just being technically proficient with photography. It's now about your mind and your eye and your opinion, you know, as, as an artist. Whoa. So I, I would say you, you need the basics. You know, the basics are that you need to understand the technicalities of the camera and also the technicalities of visuality, just art and the visual arts. And beyond that, you should be able to say, this is beyond just making images. I'm a storyteller. This is what I want to say. You know, um, that also matters. That's what takes you beyond just being a craftsman. Photography has now become extremely like powerful in powerful terms too. yes for driving this new culture where people want to see they want to see things quickly and then they will make a comment on it like the, the bloggers that you are talking about and um, people want to quickly show themselves so they're using their phones to photograph themselves you know and put up on instagram and all sorts of places so um there are massive uh, proliferation of vehicles through which you can view imagery now and what has that done it's instant you know things can go viral you know a particular mode of dressing just because people saw it on a red carpet and that red carpet thing you're talking about is actually an event that happened this afternoon they, in the evening people are looking at it on their phones and it's amazing so um yes being able to see is the first step to getting influenced. People are looking at photographs and they are getting influenced uh, very fast with the way the world is going now. <laughs> fashion is dynamic and as I always tell you, there's a link between fashion and photography. Like I tell you, fashion is broad. Photography has so much to do with fashion. You can be a good fashionista if you're not very aware of good photographs. And that's why it's producer Kenichi Yamadi Obi has been here to emphasize more on why we need to create good pictures as related to photography. Now, fashion and photography, hand in hand, prayer pursue, we've heard him talk about everything we need to know. But not to worry, there'll definitely be a comeback on this program. Kelechi Amadiobi, certainly, we would have you some other time. My name is Kelechi Amadiobi, and I love crunch. I'm on crunch, and I watch crunch all the time. I eat crunch too. How time flies. Well, it's so sad we have to say goodbye. You too can be a part of the program. It's participatory, it's open to sponsorship. Further inquiries, advert placement, name it. All you need to do is visit our website at www.nigz.tv. Better still, find us across different social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Kick, all at Nigizi TV. My name is Wafai Samuel. Bye-bye. Yeah. Exotic. Exotic cuisines, high fashion, top celebrities, glamorous events, and much more. Lunch, lunch time will never be the same again, and that's a promise you can take to the bank. Crunch, 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 the hottest lunchtime entertainment show on African television. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m., exclusive to Nigeria. Extremely Nigerian. Yeah.